Welcome back to The Count, where we're counting down the major stories of the week. I'm Lydia Serrani. Now to story number two in our countdown, the woke mind. DEI has now become the newest buzzword when it comes to woke culture taking over. It stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion. But many are waking up from their woke mind virus and seeing it for the scam that it is. Even popular radio host Charlemagne the God talked to, about DEI on The Daily Show. Let's take a look. The truth about DEI is that although it's well-intentioned, it's mostly garbage. And you know I'm right, because every one of you has sat through one of those diversity training sessions and thought, this is some bull mm, Let's bring in our panelists to discuss. Attorney and past chair of the California Reparations Task Force, Camilla Moore, also with us, co-host of the Tim Jones and Chris Arps radio show and Project 21 member, Christopher Arps. Thank you so much. Uh, Camilla. I want your reaction there to Charlemagne. What do you think? Is DEI mostly garbage? Well, it's mostly garbage, but not in the sense that, um, you know, he's articulating. It's mostly garbage to me because initially affirmative action was intended to address specific harms done to black Americans. Um, it's now shifted to what is now known as DEI. So instead of, you know, DEI working to address specific instances of dis institutional discrimination, um, it is a policy that is supposed to promote diversity for diversity sake. Um, and so, for instance, under current DEI efforts, in fact, actually white women are the number one beneficiaries of affirmative action and have been since the 1990s. And so to that and, and, to, and then to Charlemagne the God's point in his, in his um, you know, a dialogue, he noted that leadership, black leadership in, in, in these corporate settings actually have not increased over the past five years. So. Mm. That that's my argument. It's not de it's not garbage because it's it's perpetuating um, racism or um, it's garbage because it's not it's Helping. not um, you know going back to what it should be, which is um, addressing historical discrimination. And what do you think, Chris? Well, I, I think the reason why DEI is not working is because when people have had to go through the training classes, as Charlemagne the God uh, mentioned in his monologue there, that you had one side, one group of people that were felt as they were the oppressors, and the other sides felt as they were oppressed. And I think when diversity and inclusion, which is supposed to uh, include inclusion, I don't think you have that when you have when you're pitting people uh, against each other. Mm -hmm. And then also this week, the University of Austin in Texas laid off dozens of professors who had previously held DEI roles after a state law was passed banning them. Camilla, I'll start off with you first. What was your reaction to hearing this? No, it's, it's not surprising. Um, you know, June 29th, 2023, that's when the Supreme Court ruled race conscious affirmative action under a diversity rationale to be unconstitutional. So they said that essentially means the Supreme Court say, stated that, you know, uh, the consideration of race in college applications um, is not um, for the purposes of achieving educational diversity is not compelling enough reason uh, to consider race uh, for these applications. Um, and so now you're seeing um, you know, these institutions um, trying to take out of their DEI programs. Also, it's also extending to corporate settings. Oh. Um, and so, you know, it is what it is. But at the same time, um, just because DEI seems to be going away, and, and my argument is that's perfectly fine because Black Americans are not the number one um, beneficiaries of DEI, never have been. Um, it's good that DEI is going away because now we can get back to their original purpose of affirmative action, which is institutions taking accountability uh, for historic and contemporary injustices. I mean, for Chris, you know, is, is it the fact that you have even liberal colleges kind of waking up and seeing that all of these initiatives, it's kind of a waste of money, these bloated salaries, and at the end of the day, you know, people, you just heard Camilla talk about that it doesn't work, it's not benefiting them. Yeah, I think DEI was a fad, especially after the Michael Brown and the George Floyd incidents where uh, America's race consciousness was uh, becoming more, more and more aware. But I think as we've come along and we've seen uh, that DEI programs, you go to these different colleges, each department head will have a DEI chair. Uh, we've seen reports of these, of these salaries 
uh, numbering into the hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. There's really no appreciable way that you can measure if a DEI program is even being successful. And so I think th these companies and these universities, because as Camilla said, because of the Supreme Court ruling, are, are, are finding out that this is something that they don't want to do in the future. And in the long run, it just hurts their bottom line. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. Thank, Thank you. you.